Hey everyone, so what we're going to do today is install Laravel using local WP and we're going to follow some instructions that I have on my website here for doing and running Laravel on local. So I try to keep this post updated because things change, PHP versions change and things like that. So uh, I'm just going to go through this. We're kind of in a good spot right now because I'm going to load things up and get everything installed like you normally would, but it's actually not going to install correctly because currently local has a max PHP version of 8.0.0, and that is below the mini minimum required PHP version for uh, the current version of Laravel and uh, running Laravel locally and everything. So we're going to go through a couple of things to uh, to address that along the way, but um, eventually, you know, local WP will catch up and have, you know, higher versions of um, PHP coming naturally. If you want to kind of watch that thread here, um, there is a link on this blog post of uh, a thread that you can follow on the community here. And you can see like when PHP support for PHP 8.1 or 8.2 is going to come along and uh, you can follow along there. So all right, let's get started here. So basically this uh, blog post has like, uh, you know, you should have your uh, local installed and everything and we're just going to go ahead and set it up. Uh, so we'll click the button here and I'll just do local Laravel and not worry about the advanced options or anything like that. We're going to stick with the preferred environment for now. Uh, so it says set PHP 7.4.1. Uh, we're just going to do that for now. And then this WordPress database and everything is going to get wiped. So we're just not even worried about that. So now, uh, while that's getting set up, I will add my password here and it's adding WordPress, but don't worry. Cause we're going to delete this. Uh, one of the things maybe I'll show in a future video is to, uh, add Laravel as like a blueprint. Uh, so you can just kind of uh, move through here uh, with Laravel as a blueprint. So I'm also going to add SSL uh, and trust this again, adding my password. Great. So now we have a trusted SSL. And if we were to, uh, you know, open the site here for WordPress, it would go right to there. So we got Laravel local, and this is like the current version of WordPress, but we're not going to use any of that. <laughs> so uh, once the site gets created, update the PHP, PHP version here. So do that and click apply and that's totally fine. So uh, we'll apply those changes and then we start having some fun. So again, this also assumes that you already have uh, composer installed. So if you don't uh, make sure that you go here to figure out how to install composer, there are also plenty of other YouTube videos about installing composer locally. <clears throat> This is also going to go ahead and assume that you do have uh, Laravel installed. So if I drag my terminal window over here really quick, so we got it here. And if I just say Laravel, um, I think I can do V. Yeah, here we go. So the Laravel installer is there. So I've already got that installed. Uh, once you've got Composer installed, you can Composer Global Require Laravel Installer. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and go get that installed on the app. So if we go back here, uh, I'm gonna right click and open site shell. And I'm just gonna keep this on the left-hand side. So I've got two windows open here for my terminal. On the right-hand side, I was just showing desktop. Actually, I don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna keep that closed. And then uh, we got local Laravel, we're in app and public. So uh, what we wanna do is uh, change directory and go back two levels so that we're in this directory. And you can see that I've got my app uh, folder here and then my comp folder and the logs folder here. So. Uh, what I want to do is basically rename that app folder. Um, so, or we can just delete it actually, um, cause we're not going to use it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and I have the trash CLI installed. So trash app, and that moves that to my trash can on Mac here. So right in there and you can see that it's gone now. So that's great. And then what I can do is just run. Laravel new app and it'll start doing all the installation stuff and like my 
post says here, this will create a new Laravel project in the app directory, which is exactly what we want. Um, once this all gets installed, if we need to, uh, we can try and open the site here. Great, excellent. So we've got this coming up here. Fatal error, composer detected issues on your platform. Your composer dependencies are less than, uh, or your composer dependencies require a PHP version of greater than 8.0.2. So this is what I was talking about earlier. And if you were to um, run, if we were running a higher version of PHP, PHP 8.1, for example, we wouldn't get this. We would be able to see the Laravel um, and like the Laravel landing page and everything. So that's okay. Uh, we're gonna go through and fix this really quick. But uh, before we do, just make sure that we've got all this. So uh, I have here that you can restart your server. Uh, and basically what that looks like is coming over here to local and restart. So we can just restart that if you want. Uh, if you ever do have problems for some reason, you need to restart things, you can do it that way. So temporary fix, <laughs> what we're gonna do is just do a composer install and then uh, ignore platform requirements. So uh, this is basically saying, you know, like I said, this is a temporary fix and that if you uh, run into this issue where you don't have the required PHP version because you're using local by WP, then you can just run this uh, to get yourself started. So we're gonna come back over here and run composer install. Actually, let me double check something really quick. So I need to actually get into the app folder here and you can see that I now have uh, the composer JSON here. So I was in the uh, local Laravel folder before and I need to be in the app folder for this. So now I'm in the app folder and I can run composer install ignore platform requirements and it will start updating things. And now we can refresh this page and see Laravel is loaded up here. So we might be thinking, great, this is cool. I've got my Laravel page all installed. Wonderful. Um, but we want to make sure we do one more thing here first, and that is a migration. Or actually, we need to con connect to the database first and then do a migration. So normally what I'm doing here is I'm taking this and I'm copying uh, the information from my uh, local WP uh, over and uh, everything. So what I'm going to do is copy this right now and I'm going to go back here and just I do the VSC dot to open up the app and Visual Studio Code and then I can come over to my .m file and you can see this is where the database connection stuff is. I'm just going to highlight this. Essentially all we're really doing is replacing some of this so and adding a socket here because that's how local WP works. So we are saying this is a MySQL connection. It is localhost, ports 3306. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, so this is a kind of dummy string, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in on the database here. You can see if you switch over to the database tab, we've got the socket right here and you can highlight it, copy it and go back over to this and make sure you get it in between all uh, the two quotes there. And then we got uh, the database name is local and root and root here. So username root, excellent. So I'm gonna save that. And now we are ready to do the awesome PHP artisan migrate. So before I do that, really quick, I'm just gonna open up uh, table plus here. And you can see that it's got the WP tables in there uh, per usual. Uh, what you can do, and maybe I have this in the blog post as well, is you can uh, you can delete these. They would still be in there, I believe, if you didn't delete them. So I'm deleting them and hitting save. And now I'm going back to the uh, terminal here and I'm gonna run PHP artisan migrate, hit enter. And now we've got all of the, the database stuff migrated. And if I come back over here and click refresh, you can see all of the fresh database tables in here. So this is a bare bones Laravel install now right here and refresh it and still running. Uh, and again, up here we can, you know, we, now we're running on HTTPS and everything. So yeah, we've got uh, this all installed and ready to go. And from here on, you can start doing all of your uh, Laravel initial migrations or installing stuff like Jetstream or whatever you're gonna do with Laravel. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and have fun.